Because the one time if the earth could swallow me up whole, it would have been that moment. My name is Jess Adams. I'm an actress and a model. I've done a bunch of campaigns. I love doing skincare and beauty. I used to smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. Sorry, mom. And drink like a sugar-free Red Bull like every morning. <laughs> Health. And everyone knows that when you have caffeine in the morning, if you know everything's working correctly, you gotta go number two. And I'm on this photo shoot and I, I had to go. So I said, excuse me. And I just kind of like walked out and just, you know, wandered and I saw a bathroom. And I walk in and do my thing. And then all of a sudden I realize there's no water in the toilet. And then I realize the toilet's not attached to the wall. And then I realize that the sink is not attached to the wall and that there is no water. And there was also one sad paper towel in this bathroom. And I start freaking out, I am panicking. I already have anxiety, <laughs> like this, this was like really bad. So I just like pulled someone aside and I was like, I don't know what happened, like I think your bathroom's broken. And she goes, where, where which one did you go into? And I'm just like, oh, you know, like, oh, and she's like, it's a sad bathroom. It's not not real. And I just shit in it. I'm like, oh my God, like, what do we do? Like, can I help? Like, clean in. She's like, no, it's fine. She looked so bummed out. And she was like, I'm just gonna have to call someone to clean it. And she's like, come on, let's just keep going. And I'm like, I can't do this. Like, I don't, I don't wanna exist anymore after this moment. Like, I'm so sorry, I'm done. Who doesn't put signs on your fake bathroom? I'm surprised I didn't open the bowl and there were like 10 Hi, my name is Alexis Turner. I went full-time modeling only like six months ago and I do a little bit of everything. I do editorial, I do runway, fashion, e-commerce, beauty. I'm on this shoot and it's a beauty shoot. And I meet this makeup artist, she's really sweet. She has a lot of accolades. She's worked with top brands and clients and so I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. But then she starts opening her palettes and like all of her colors are mixed in. Like it looks like a third grader's watercolor palette. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I don't think this girl cleans her makeup. And Lord knows how many models she's been working with. So then she goes into the bathroom to like wash her hands because she's gonna touch my face. And then there's no soap in the bathroom. We're kind of like in a secluded area. So there's like nowhere to also get soap. She has these long nails. There's probably like things all up in her nails and she's about to touch my face. And I'm thinking she's gonna use a brush, but no. She starts like with her finger digging into the palette and then putting it on my face and I'm like, what? And I don't want to say anything because like this girl, she's like worked with top clients. Like I want to be like that like sweet, chill, humble model. I don't want to come off as a diva. During the shoot, they were taking like BTS photos and she like posted on Instagram and one of my other fellow makeup artist friends, Season, she's like, girl, with like all the R's, all the L's and she's like, that girl doesn't wash her palettes. And I was like, I know, I know. So I wake up the next day, go into the bathroom, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, there we have it. There's like pimples I've like broken out. I have like a little bit of redness going on. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I knew it. Maybe I should have said something because this is my face. This is what's making money right now. <laughs> what can you do? Hi, I'm Lanya Nicole. Um, I've been modeling for, I would say about five years now. I did high fashion. like back when I was a little skinnier, but now I do a lot of uh, fitness modeling. This was my first fashion week, um, Charlotte Fashion Week, back when I was like maybe 16. So I was so excited. I was like, I'm just gonna rip this runway. I'm about to kill it. We're about to be Tyra Banks. Like, I got this. When I tried on the shoes, one pair was too big and one was too small. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just go with the big pair. Just stuff some you know, tissue or whatever in the front and I got this. When I was walking, it was good at first, and all of a sudden, like, my shoe kind of, you know, flopped off, like, at the heel. So I'm just, like, kind of, like, hopping, and then at the end of the runway, I see the designer I really, really want to work with, and I'm like, this is my chance. She's gonna see me, she's gonna be like, you're awesome, I'm gonna book you right off the stage, just jump off and into my arms. I make a turn to, like, come back around after, you know, posing for the pictures at the end, and I felt, like, a crack, and I look down, and the heel cracked. So I just took both the shoes off and just started walking down the runway like I meant to do that. The good thing is at the end, when I came back, she was like, oh, I gave you the wrong pair of shoes. I meant to give you these. So she's like, oh, it's okay. I was gonna throw those out anyway. I was like, lady, you almost ruined my entire life and my career. I'm like, whatever, you know what? Here are your shoes. I gotta go to this other designer, whatever, bye.
I had decided to do a photo shoot uh, for fun with a friend of mine who's a photographer and he kind of casually said, oh, and you know, we, we found this uh, drone operator. I thought that was pretty cool. We drove out to Malibu and we got really lucky. We found a beach that was pretty empty. The photo shoot goes really well. The pictures are really cool. And so like, hey Jess, like why don't you climb up on this giant rock and start posing? And I'm like, all right, cool. So I climb this rock. So I'm like locked into this camera on this little flying alien spaceship. I'm just like eye banging shit out of this drone because I'm a professional. The drone was like maybe like four feet away. What I didn't know is that a drone is never supposed to be remotely close to your face. You're not supposed to feel the wind blowing from the drone. And then all of a sudden, boom, right to the dome. The first thing that I remember is going <sighs> and then I remember yelling, how's my nose? How's my nose? By some miracle, it hit me straight on. So the blades missed my face and got caught in all of this hair. I got a little cut on my forehead, but that was it. The designer who, was, who had made the clothes that I was wearing, he had taken um, BTS on his phone and he had caught the exact moment of impact when the drone flew into my face. So I put the video on my Instagram. Suddenly I'm reached out to by TMZ I and mean, they're like, we, we want to interview you. Like we want this story. And like 10 minutes later, I'm like on the TMZ live with a big black eye and like a bruised up nose. I'm okay. So I'm laughing about it at first and they're the ones that are kind of urging me to be like, this is serious. And I'm just like, ha ha, I got in the face of the robot. Like hee hee, I'm okay. I am terrified of drones to this day. I get asked to shoot with drones a lot and all I have to say is you can't afford me.